Dad thought he was going to become a hog farmer. Okay. In the late 70s, early 80s. Time to get involved. Yep. And he didn't know that. Back then, you know, when you went to go buy your feed, you paid when you sold the animal. You know, kind of the honor system. And when he went to go sell the animals, the hogs, he wasn't even going to sell them for enough money to pay the feed mill. So he brought them back from the <clears throat> sale barn, stockyards, and told mom, said, grab the last bit of money that's in the bank and go up to Muncie and buy a cuber and a small grinder. But he started knocking hogs in the head in the backyard <laughs> and made... I'm enjoying every bit of this. Yeah. And he made whole hog sausage and cube tenderloin. Yeah. He worked at Delco okay. and yeah. went and fried up a whole bunch of biscuits and gravy and sold a meal or breakfast for a buck. Every Friday, me and my brother would go to Delco and sit in the parking lot and sell sausage and cute tuna. Yeah. Well, then we started doing it for friends and family, and Dad did. Then we had a local deer processor, a local deer processor that was a taxidermist that he was kind of friends with. He decided to um, cut his hand one year yeah. So we was like, well, we'll, you know, start up. And when you decided to get back into it, that let us know and we was going to stop. Well, he ended up starting up without stop or telling us. So he was like, well, we've already got all the equipment and stuff. We're going to stay going. Yeah. Well, then we ended up in the early 90s, literally being the biggest deer processor in the state of Indiana. Really? Yep. That's Our awesome. biggest year was 2,200. Deer. Started, you know, butchering and selling half and whole hogs and all that. Well, you remember when the market dropped in the mid 90s? Yep. Right. With like five cents yeah. a pound. Yep. I actually had farmers that was giving me oh, hogs. Yeah. And they was giving me 7,500 pound hogs. Come and get them. I don't want to feed them. Well, we ended up getting into the American Legion and the ribs off them 7,500 pound hogs. We left the bacon on them. Amazing. We, we was hurting them. Heck, I was advertising a whole hog, processed, bought, and everything for $150. That one month of January, I butchered 150 hogs in one month. Compliance officer come in on me. And he told me basically, he goes, you gotta go legal or it's gonna be a $10,000 fine. My life went legal, got inspected and all that, and now we're huge. There I was, back in the wild again. And I felt right at home, where I belong. I had that feeling coming over me again. Just like it happened so many times before. Hey, man.